After watching this PS5 reveal, I only have two words. RIP Xbox. So PS5 officially got revealed to us and uh, yeah, it was a really great event yesterday. I had a lot of fun uh, watching it. There were lots of cool games shown and I really want to give my thoughts and impressions on, it, on everything that was shown, mainly main things that were shown, the major things. So yeah, let's deep dive right into it. So starting off strong, we got a Spider-Man Miles Morales game and that sounds sick. Like honestly speaking, I did not expect that. I expected like, you know, Spider-Man sequel, but hell, I'll take that game. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. It has a pretty different art style compared to the main game. And I really like that. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna be great. I think it's probably gonna be launched alongside PS5 because it's supposed to be coming out on uh, holiday 2020. So I have a feeling that might be the launch title. Cause I mean, I don't know, it's just a spin-off game. Uh, I feel like it's not really anything like main game or something I'm probably it's a mid game between the main game and the sequel but it's probably a standalone or a spin-off game but again it's cool because I really like Miles in the original Spider-Man game and even the movie into the Spider-Verse so it'll be really cool to see more Miles so yeah uh, then moving on we got Ratchet and Clank uh, the entire gameplay for me is probably the hi highlight like it looks the world looks so detailed and like so like you know the textures take so little time to load in you know and like it's like it's seamless like you know the transition between the worlds through the portals and shit it's entirely seamless there's like literally little to no loading times and that's insane that really shows that like you don't have to like the PlayStation 5 is really fast the SSD has really like it's very really fast and the teraflops and all that that's the word that Sony use all the time to describe the PS5 but it, PS5 definitely seems very powerful and it's really fast loading times. So yeah, and I really love the entire gameplay. Uh, of course, it graphically looks stunning. And even in terms of technology and everything, it just definitely looks like a huge step up from the PS4. And uh, yeah. Next up, we got Gran Turismo 7. And I'm not a big uh, racing car game fan, but it looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, visually speaking, it looks pretty in cool. Uh, you know with the driving mechanics and all that can't really say much about it, but it looked pretty sick You know what I mean? Like definitely again another good PlayStation strong PlayStation 5 exclusive to have so Yeah, that's all I can say about Gran Turismo 7. So strange enough We also got GTA 5 coming to PS5, which is quite freaking weird Isn't it like this game is at least two generations old. This was a PS3 game You're literally porting it over to PS5 and that's like what the hell, they're still gonna keep selling GTA 5 even after like what, almost like 7-8 eight, eight years? That's like, I don't know man, this game is probably still gonna sell after 10 years. But <laughs> I don't know, I find it ridiculous that you're gonna play a PS3 game on, on PS5. But yeah, that's what we got from starting off this event. And uh, yeah. So then we got uh, like this game called Project Athea and the world looks really stunning i think uh and it seems sounds pretty interesting it uh, looks like it's got something to do with magic and shit like that but that's about all we saw but whatever we saw i was impressed um then we saw demon souls remake and demon souls is pretty much well regarded by people who play the souls games like uh, dark souls and all that and it's just like and it sounds pretty good like looks pretty good i guess that they're gonna remake it for the next gen and it's gonna be really interesting um uh, and yeah and then we also got a bunch of uh, indie games and they also look pretty cool we got stray is one of them then kenna is another one of them which they both look pretty good then other indie games as well that look pretty interesting and fun to play just for you know, like one or two playthroughs it might be just fun to just sit down and play them but yeah then then we again get this interesting time loop game it's, it reminds me a lot of edge of tomorrow that like this uh, like a uh, woman keeps on dying overall and crashes on an unknown planet and she like wakes up and keeps on doing the same shit and it's like a very time loop based thing and it's really cool you know once you die probably you just start all the way again there but it sounds really interesting reminds me a lot of edge of tomorrow that tom cruise movie 
but yeah that's definitely has gained my attention now returnal was its name right yeah returnal that sounds definitely is gonna be on my radar for next gen games if i am to get a ps5 then we got a look at ghostwire tokyo now sounds interesting i'm not fully sold on it yet but it definitely sounds interesting that you're in a supernatural tokyo and you know you just lit have like magic and shit and sounds pretty cool i guess visually looks pretty detailed and cool um but that's about it i can say about ghostwire tokyo and i'm not fully sold on it because the gameplay like i don't know just doesn't appeal to me that much but still it looks pretty uh cool who knows it might be good if you see more of it but we got to see ghostwire tokyo and uh, yeah then we also get to see a game by arcane studios uh death loop uh which i'm not sure if i'm really into you know, shoot mindless shooters like you know just shooting up people and all that like i don't really buy those things like it's just you know if that's only the thing you can do in the game then what else can you do you know so not really sure if i'm gonna get it doesn't really you know appeal to me but for other people that might be really enjoy shooting and all that but yeah then we get resident evil 8 now i'm not a big fan of resident evil games but i'm definitely getting into them i really i play resident evil 2 remake and i definitely want to get resident evil 3 remake as well and i also want to play resident evil 7 but definitely resident evil 8 again looks interesting uh, of course you know it's it's a horror game and uh, definitely a horror games is not probably my favorite genre but you know at some point some horror games are really good though so Resident Evil is definitely one of those games that's definitely gonna be good and uh, yeah I think it looks good Resident Evil 8 and uh, yeah it's in a village this time so interesting uh, we'll see what happens but yeah that's Resident Evil 8 of course we got a glimpse at NBA the next NBA game I'm not into sports games that much to be honest with you uh, but there it is I mean the only one thing that stood out for me was a fucking sweat the sweat on that player looks so much detailed and like oh my god you know that's probably the only thing that grabbed my attention about the nba thing other than that couldn't really care but that sweat looks so detailed and well made you know what i mean so yeah definitely again shows the graphical advancements that you know the playstation 5 you know allows and that's insane the detail and everything we also get this weird game we also get this weird game called odd world now i don't know it's a ps1 game it used to be ps1 so of course for people who had the ps1 who used to play on the ps1 will definitely enjoy this and yeah that's all i can say i've never played any odd world game so i don't really care but that's pretty much it about Oswald, odd world so we also got uh, more gameplay for godfall and uh, not really sure what to think of the game but it is the first PlayStation exclusive PlayStation 5 exclusive to be revealed and uh, looks pretty cool i guess the environments look pretty good though you know with the beautiful colors and all that that's really looking good uh, but that's all i can really say about it i'm not fully sold on it yet but looks interesting definitely another good PlayStation 5 exclusive to look out for um then we also have sackboy a big adventure now i don't know if i'm f really into kd games i'm not into but it's still gonna be like a fun game to play regardless you know what i mean it's just gonna one of those fun games to play um but yeah i guess uh, I, I guess that's i can talk about sackboy um i'm not really fully into uh, these type of games but definitely would be fun for one playthrough or another we also get hitman 3 reveal uh pretty cool hitman 3 uh hitman is pretty much a love franchise people love hitman so of course hitman is back this time in dubai with burj khalifa and all that remind me a lot of mission impossible ghost protocol and all that but looks pretty cool um and then ladies and gentlemen the final thing we get horizon 2 i'm so freaking excited horizon 2 forbidden west the sequel to horizon zero dawn the, i think probably one of my favorite games of all time and it's gonna be really good it looks like they're definitely expanding on things that work better in the first game we're getting more machines that's for sure we're getting like those big ass elephants things that at the end we're getting that you know the there's that moss on that machine that just comes out in the forest and there is also like a bunch of different machines that you know are there and that looks amazing you know 
we all also have underwater exploration and that's another in really good thing and oh my god this game is gonna be good like visually speaking and we also have returning characters Aloy is of course back and also silence and it'll be just I'm excited Horizon Zero Dawn is definitely one of my favorite games and this definitely is seems like a step up from that we've only seen uh, announcements so far but I do want to see some more stuff over the game like proper in-depth gameplay but definitely looks pretty good uh, and that's a really great way to end the PlayStation 5 event really the last game to show so then finally finally we get the PlayStation 5 reveal oh my god I just I got chills like literally when I was watching it live and oh my god I have to say the design is something different and I really like that it's something out of the box and I love how Sony are trying something different from the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 uh, it's definitely better than Xbox so it's a fucking fridge but yeah like it definitely feels like PlayStation 5 definitely has a really good design we of course get the controllers again the controllers I honestly really dig the controls I really like that white color uh, you know, uh, it would be cooler if it was black, but I generally li like it more as white now. Uh, and I also like that there's a white and black in the PlayStation 5 console itself, and it looks pretty fucking cool. Um, and we also get a digital version, and I think I'm probably, if I had a choice, if I were getting it, I'll probably get a digital version, because I buy most of my games digitally any which way. And it looks better because it doesn't have that weird bump at the end for the disc. Uh, but yeah, uh, we also got other things like remote uh, headphones and shit like that. Uh, and the Sony went all out with that reveal and that was great. I really love that. Um, that's amazing ending to this whole amazing event, you know. It was definitely leagues better than the Xbox event that we got a couple months back. Um, and pretty much, like Xbox has already lost. We already know, like Xbox, they can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. As much as you love Xbox, Xbox fans, I'm sorry, you have lost this. I don't generally don't think how you can bounce back and uh, you know reclaim victory because you really can't. Because PlayStation 5 looks like amazing with an amazing, compelling lineup of games coming up. So I don't know, like the only thing Xbox has has Halo Infinite and Game Pass. So yeah, I'm probably just shitting on Xbox right now, but that's just the truth and. They really need to, like Microsoft really need to push themselves uh, and really need to give Sony the competition because so far it's looking like a one-sided battle like Sony is already dominating and winning this so I'm pretty sure PlayStation 5 is definitely gonna win this generation like it already has one and more people are gonna get PlayStation 5 but yeah so yeah those were pretty much all my thoughts and impressions on the PlayStation 5 event yesterday definitely Probably one of the best things that happened this year, to be honest, because this year has been quite a year, I gotta say. We have been through a lot in the past couple months and uh, hope things will get better from now on. Let's see. But this was definitely a good way to, you know, you know, raise our spirits and uh, have fun for a bit, you know, in this bad situation that we're in. But any which ways, uh, that was a really fun event to watch uh give me give you give your thoughts on the review give your thoughts on the console itself in the comments below uh so yeah in which way hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe if you did and i'll see you in the next one so yeah bye